What up, what up, what up, guys? And Kenny here, and back in another video today. As you guys can see, we're doing sort of a different kind of video today. We're just gonna be analyzing you guys' videos. So I picked several people from my Discord and people I know from Twitter to be in this video. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first person we're gonna be looking at is Nin Ninkai Hyper. I mean, Ninkai Yang. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I butchered that. Okay, so it looks like his opponent started with a lob on the back first play. So he went expo in this position. Guys, take note of this placement because I think this placement is really good. Especially if you want to kite like their troops or balloon towards the middle. And notice how he's kind of delaying on his Tesla. So really, really good play by um, Ning Kai Yang. I don't really agree with that Valkyrie since... He didn't really need it, especially since the Tesla was going to finish off the Night Witch anyways. And he goes for a good rocket on the Balloon, but he has to play Skeletons to kite the Inferno Dragon or else he loses. And yeah, really, really... <sighs> yeah, that, that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so next on our list is Talon. I think that's how you say his name, or Talon. So he's he's one of my moderators, and he's been playing Ice Bow for a while, so let's see how he does. Okay. So he's going to start off with a log, which is okay. So right here, what I would do is I would rocket that Night Witch, since he doesn't really have Ice Wizard in Cycle. Um, let's see what he opts. Yeah, so Tesla first play like that, especially against Night Witch, isn't really the best play, quite honestly. And he did like a bad Valkyrie, so he should have waited till the baby dragon um actually got a little bit closer to see if he actually needed that Valkyrie. So essentially wasted four elixir there. So he's going to be down Elixir while trying to defend this Golem, which he doesn't want at all, especially since he doesn't have Tesla. And he's forced to use like an Expo for his Golem, which I don't really like doing at all. Um, yeah, really awkward NATO. It's not really going to do much. It's just delaying his loss. And I think that might cost him the game there, unfortunately. Yeah. So that Tesla wasn't really the best play. He probably should have just went Rocket. You either go Rocket or um, Ice Wizard for their Night Witch. Okay, so next on our list is Legendary Pop. So Legendary Pop, if you guys don't know, um, is SK555. He's probably one of the first Expo YouTubers I really, really improved upon after watching so i'll link his um i'll link his channel in the description below and yeah let's get started let's watch his replay okay so he starts off with skeletons that's pretty safe so pretty aggressive expo by him i mean i guess i guess it's okay but if your opponent has like a cannon cart or something they can instantly, like, instantly win from this one interaction. So I'd say this, that expo was kind of, um, was a little aggressive, but it's okay. Goes NATO. That was, that was a good play, but the opponent, he, he kind of knew that he was going to play his NATO there. So really good job on the opponent's end. So really, really good start for SK. So all he really needs to do is defend here. So let's see how he's going to defend. He probably has to play an Ice Wizard for this. And nice. Okay. So really nice NATO by the opponent. Um, so SK either needs... To, yeah. That Tesla's perfect there. Okay, let's see. Uh 
Yeah, I wouldn't even go rocket. <laughs> some people... I, I noticed some people would go rocket on my friends list if they're in this situation, but you don't... You don't go rocket single like this. Especially since they can build a big push like what he did there. And nice Tesla. Notice how he separated his Ice Wizard from his Tesla. So his opponent couldn't get good lightning value. And right here, I would rocket his um, Night Witch. I mean, not his Night Witch, his Archer Queen. Just because the first time um, the opponent knew he was going to use a NATO, I would assume that the opponent would know that um, SK would use the NATO again. So, if that made, hopefully that made sense. But I worded that so poorly. But anyways, really bad lightning by the opponent's end. I could. I would have probably went um, activated king there, but still pretty good gameplay on SK's end. So also take note on this um, defensive expo here, he's playing it in the anti-lightning position, so he's not able to give good lightning value. And what I would have done there was actually played a low Tesla instead of the Valkyrie, and save my Valkyrie for the other side, just because... His lightning was out of cycle, so he wouldn't have been able to play his lightning in time. Is he gonna go rocket for this E Giant? And nice. Okay, really nice. Being done by SK. Gonna have to NATO this. See what he's gonna do now. Is he gonna. Just opt to rocket cycle or go in. Okay, so he chooses to go in, which is a really, really good um, decision. Especially since his e giant's out of cycle. And his lightning's like last. He doesn't have enough elixir to play, and yeah, GG. So, just a few minor mistakes, but he played really well. Again, I'll link his channel in the description below. Okay, so Rose, also known as King Hassan, he's also a really good player. He plays like multiple decks, and let's see how he plays with Ice Bow. I've seen him play Ice Bow before. He's okay, but let's see how he's gonna play this matchup. This matchup matchup's kind of rough. Mega Knight, um. Minor wall breakers. Even though it doesn't have like a big spell, like it, they can just easily just out chip you with like minor damage, but you have to be really, really careful. So, really nice start by him. Notice how he pre placed the Tesla. The opponent didn't really do much, and then he just easily just went expo there. So, really nicely played by him. Nice, really nice reaction time too. So few people would have been able to catch that right there. So that's, by the gameplay alone, you can tell he's a really good player. Okay. Really interesting minor in the back by the opponent. I'm not sure why he played it in the back like that. Especially since he knew he was running Ice Bow. Let's see. So not really the best Tesla. He should have played it one tile lower. So the um, wall breaker wouldn't connect onto the Tesla. He's going to have to skeletons this. And nice. Okay. Really, really nice defensive expo. So in this matchup, he recognizes that the opponent doesn't have a big spell. And his hand is kind of weird, so he doesn't want to cycle his Ice Wizard or his Valkyrie. Especially not his Valkyrie, since the opponent could just go um, Mega Knight in the back. I wouldn't have gone with that um, Rocket there, but I guess it was okay, since the opponent's leaking for some reason. He leaked about like 7 Elixirs, so that Rocket was like perfectly fine. Um... 
since it's double elixir, it's kind of fine. That Valkyrie, that Valkyrie is fine, I guess. Especially since he's playing defensive expos. Probably wouldn't have gone for that Valkyrie there, but otherwise, pretty good defense. Notice how patient he's being. He's not going aggressive with offensive expos. I feel like a lot of people would just like kind of panic that they're facing Meg Knight or they're taking quite a bit of damage and go offensive expos. That's not what you want to do with um, Ice Bow at all. Okay, nice rocket. Again, his opponent's leaking for some reason. And he kind of took note of that and took advantage of his elixir disadvantage. Really, really nice NATO knock, so that was really clean by Rose. I would probably set up with another defensive expo or Tesla. Okay, I don't really agree with that Tesla, especially since he can easily snipe it with a musketeer, but the opponent didn't do that for some reason. Okay, let's see. I would. Okay, that. Okay, that was a good expo. He could have either went defensive expo too, but I guess that was okay. Let's see. So, so far, so good. So, again, those Teslas aren't really the best, especially since he has Musk Musketeer. But in that situation, it was okay since he cycled in the back, so... He's defending this pretty well. Okay, I would go Offensive Expo here. Nice! Okay. It seems like the opponent gave up, so... Really, really nice gameplay by Rose. And yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos, and Kenny out.